Hey guys, it's OJ here and today I'm going to share one of my top productivity tools that I'm using for creating animated banners. It's not the best banner animator, it's not the best software to use, but it's really quick and efficient and it's all online, a free tool, so you don't really have to do too much work to create a very nice and sleek looking banner. So I'm going to show you what this is. So welcome to this tutorial, I'm going to try and keep it short and simple. This is the website that I will be using, the link will be provided below this video. It's a free tool, free website and that's the best thing about it. It's all online, you don't have to download anything, you don't have to have a software on your computer or anything like that. You simply go to Tools, Animated Banner Maker and now you have this page. You have an example already here and you can add different lines of text, different slides, so to speak. Now, even though it's an animated banner, it's not really going to do too many things in terms of animation. You don't really have different transitions or any special motion of uh, how the text is being displayed. And it's only text-based, which means you can't really have different images or anything like that. But, uh, you know, for simple, purposes for something that you need to do on the go quickly and efficiently it is working great and it's really easy to use this is why I'm saying that it might not be the best tool but it's certainly one of the easiest so and let's have a look at if you scroll down first we can choose the background and if you just go through the different pages you will see that there are a lot of different styles of backgrounds I mean the ones that I really like are these and these and around yeah th these here as well because they're kind of simple nicely colored they're not just a solid color we see a bit of gradient and uh, here again we have something that has a little bit of a design so that it looks slightly more professional than something like that for instance which I wouldn't really use definitely not for marketing bear in mind these banners are for all kinds of purposes but you know for the programs that I'm using that I will be advertising I find that these are more efficient in terms of design so let's go and pick one of these I would go with um, this one and these are the different frames for the text we have up to five first I will be entering the text and after that, I will be modifying it and, you know, applying some changes to format it. Okay, so I entered different words in each of these frames. Now, of course, you can enter more than one word, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using one, but uh, this is how it looks at the moment. And now I'm going to go and apply some changes. The first thing is I will change the color of the text. I will make it probably deep red and uh, I will copy this code because then I will want to go to each frame and simply paste it. And now when we hit preview we should, yes, we see it in red. Okay, so I like that already. Now I need to change the font because I'm not really I'm not really liking this one. And I tend to to have a soft spot for this BitGod font which kind of seems quite funky and um, it's it's a big font as well and at the same time it is not too intrusive because it's dotted you will see now what I mean. Okay, it's probably not the best font for this particular banner, 
But if I change the background, I wonder it might look better. Definitely. Okay, so you can see how you you don't have to worry about the background. If you're not liking it, you can change it later on. And you can play with the different colors and see which one is most suitable. I think the yellow is probably okay for the, yeah, because that is a little bit too dark. I can even go here and check how it's going to look with blue. And I'm selecting a light blue because my text is dark, so I need it to be contrasting enough. And uh, it looks okay, but I feel that the yellow was kind of sitting better. It's uh, stronger, attracts more attention, so I'm going to go with this one. The next thing I want to do is make it slightly faster, so I'm going to change it so that it's 10 here, basically everything that used to be 20 frames, now it becomes 10 frames. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, now the, the last frame I'm going to leave it slightly longer than anything else. And I will also make it larger. And here is the text size, that's what I'm changing. And I'm changing the duration of the frame. It is now 15 frames instead of 10. So let's see how that looks. Okay, we can already see the difference between now and the rest of the words. Now is really much bigger. I think the other word which I would like to increase the size will be big, the second frame. And I will make that 50 as well. And that's my, I'm quite happy with this, so this is how I'm going to leave it. Of course, I can keep changing and improving on it. I think for this tutorial, we can just go with that. Uh, this is where I'm going to download the file into my computer, and it will be a GIF file. But uh, more conveniently, I can even just get the URL straight from the website. It's going to open it in a new page. It will be hosted already in this website which is allplode.com this is their own website that they are hosting all of the the banners and images so what i will be doing right now is i will be sending this link this is the link to my banner how i can access it online so i don't have to worry about uploading this image and hosting it on my own website anywhere i can just take it straight from here this is the link to this page so if I want to access this page later on, I can copy this as well. And also if I'm going to be using this banner in a blog or website or something else that is not exactly an advertising platform, I will need to embed this file into my post. If it's on my blog, it will have to be embedded either in my post or it can be added as a widget. But in any case, I will need that. So these are the three links that I need to keep. So what I'm going to do now is open a new file in Notepad and I'm going to call it new banner and I'm going to paste these links. First this one and then lastly I will add the embedding and now I know that these three links are going for one and the same banner. So now for the next banner, I will be adding them below. And uh, generally the first link is the one that I need to be using if I'm going to be placing this banner in different platforms online to advertise. Most of the time I will just need the actual URL of the image, which is that first link, the .gif. We can check this as well by copying and we can just go here in a new tab, paste it and see how it looks, that's it. 
Okay, so this is how simple and easy it is to create a banner. I hope this is going to make things much easier for you and uh, of course the link is below the video in the description. If you have any questions on how you can do that, you can message me. Or um, before I leave you, I'm going to do one more thing, I'm going to show you how am I going to place this banner in one of the ref shares where I am advertising. So stick with me, that is if you already know how to do that, you can skip this part. If you don't, stick with me, I'm going to show you how to do this right now. Okay, so I'm in my back office in my 24 hour income, this is one of the ref shares that I am using. And uh, I'm going to be placing some banners now in this RevShare on the traffic exchange because as you know with RevShares people are obliged to serve at least 8, with this one 8, with some of them 10 banners adverts per, per day. So I'm going to be placing quite a lot of banners here because I know that there is a lot of traffic and uh, this is why I'm doing my own banners as well because I want to place different banners, different looking banners, even if it's the same uh, offer. I don't want it to have the same banner because then people once or twice when they see it they stop paying attention to this same image. This is why it's good to be using this website to create your own banners. So let's go and place one of the ads here. Now I know that my banner is that size 468 by 60 because this is the ones that I chose. When you go to the website you will be able to select different sizes as well but the, the most general size is 468 by 60 this is why I am recommending to stick to that size. And uh, here I am just going to place a title. This is the banner URL that I need to use and I'm going to pull it from my document. It's uh, this one here, I copy and I paste here. Now destination URL and you can see that it, it's reading so that means it's displaying correctly. Destination URL, this is where I have to place the actual website that I'm advertising. You know that promotion that I'm trying to uh, advertise I need to drive traffic to that page so let's pick this link as well okay I've got my link ready okay so my link is ready description I need to uh, I need to enter a short description here that's not always the case with some of the ref shares you don't have to write a description with your banner in this case I have to and it will be a really short couple of words I don't really want to make it a very long sentence or anything like that after that I just have to click agree and get it and now it will be checked here if it's uh, you know displaying properly in frame and if everything is good yes I am I am done so this is everything guys this is how easy it is to work with this website and to create your own banners it's definitely one of my top productivity tools especially when I'm in a rush because these banners I can literally make one of these in less than two or three minutes usually I manage to do it in about a couple of minutes so this is very quick for me if I have to do the banner in Photoshop or any of the other softwares that I'm using it will definitely take me much longer they might look a little bit more fancy so sometimes I take the time and I do that and I can do another tutorial where I'm explaining how to do it in Photoshop but right now I would say for a start this should definitely be your preferred tool to use for banners thank you for watching and I hope this helps